Hi everyone, Joy here. I'm very excited that you guys are on video too. In this video, we are going to build out or create a sales page using ClickFunnels. Now in video one, I created an opt-in page or a squeeze page or a bridge page, whatever you want to call it. Um, and I also explained the, the reasoning why we need that page. So if you only start with this video, I do encourage you, please go back, look at video one. I will drop the link to video one in this video and go and watch that first before you carry on watching this video. Um, in video one, I built out an Arborn uh, opt-in page. And I chose Arborn because first of all, I love the products. And second of all, I have friends in the industry that sell the products. Now in saying that, I am going to now go and build a sales page. And I'm also using Arborn as an example because it's an affiliation product. And I want to show you guys how easy it is to, you know, to get that product going on a on the sales funnel, which is really that missing link that a lot of businesses have. Let me share my screen with you guys. Now also just to let you guys know, so this time of the year is like the e-commerce dream time. You know, this is the time of the year that the e-commerce makes most, well, depending on what niche you're in, but this is where you make the most money because people want to actually buy Christmas presents, right? Um, it's a bit sad that Christmas is all about presents, but um, you know, for a lot of the people, but it's the reality. Now I'm going to just, you know, obviously I'm in my click funnel account and I'm clicking on the funnel that I've built before. And um, I'm going to delete this page. Just want to start from scratch completely for you guys. So what you do now is you go and you create a step. Now, remember in the previous video, we went and we created a father's day opt-in page, which probably won't be relevant to this page because father's day has already finished, but that was just an example that I did. So you can go and you can go and change this to, you know, pamper yourself this Christmas or pamper your loved ones or, you know, something along those lines. So we're going to add in a new step and we're going to call it our born sales page. That was not a pre-fill. This is because I actually created a dummy page uh, earlier today just to test it as well. Okay, so basically here you've got your sales pages. You've got sales page, product page, order form, all of those beautiful things. Uh, and then let's click on a sales page to see what type of pages we have. I'm not too fond of any of these. I don't feel like they fit in with my theme. But let's look at the product launch pages. So you must just go down and click on these guys. And you know what? If there's a page that you really just, it doesn't do anything for you. There's nothing that stands out. There's nothing that you feel like, yeah, you want it. Uh, then just create your own from scratch. It's really not that hard. Uh, I've done it before. Okay, so here's a template. But I want to use templates specifically in this video because I want to show you guys that it is pretty simple to do this, you know. Um, okay, so here you've got a trip to wire page. I'm going to use this as an example because it's very popular in e-commerce to use a, a wire page um, example. Okay. And then again, we just push on edit. And this is where you now go and you edit your information. So here we say, uh, let's just go there, settings. Again, let's go find a logo. So earlier I did already pull pictures in here to save us the time for the sake of this example on this video. So that logo is quite small. So let's make it 200. It's going to look funny. So let me make it 200 over there. So this is probably not the right lo logo to use because it is the spring logo, but I know Arborn has a logo for Christmas as well. And you can see create an account, customer order, order complete. Now, in saying that, you can use the same concept when you go onto Arbon. So I don't know, I can't talk for all affiliation products, but how Arbon works is that when you sign up with them as an affiliate, then you actually get a website that goes with your your monthly, you know, well, you know, when you buy products, that's kind of like your fee that you pay them. And it's great products, by the way. But but this is the, the concept is that, you know, you actually get a website. But then to refer people to a website, it's it's very daunting. You know, you have to go search for something. So point people in the right direction by giving them this page. Okay. So wait, one time offer only. So obviously that's not quite correct. We want to say it's Christmas specials or holiday holiday love it's probably a little bit corny um and then special one-time offer which this in this case it won't be a one-time offer but then what we can say spoil your 
five people this holiday, something around that. I normally come up with better hooks. <laughs> I'm a little bit brain dead at the moment. Okay, so, and then here you then put in your product. So I'm gonna use, for this example, I'm gonna use, mm, let's use this one. So double your order. Okay, so obviously we can't do that in this because it's not like it's a ClickBank product. It's a little bit, this is a little bit trickier. And so what you can do is it's a body butter thing, coconut, rose, vanilla. Ooh, I think I'll buy that. Okay, so, and then you just say butter, um, make your special stuff. <laughs> Struggling with it because I'm not very good at this. Let your okay, let's try this one more time. Make your feel good this holiday. Something around those lines. Like I said, my hooks aren't very strong tonight, and I'm really normally good at it. Um, and then that's basically it. And then I won't use this font. I personally don't really like it. So you can go and change it um, to something that stands out a little bit more. Like that's maybe a little bit too, that's not too bad, I guess. The, the one thing about also guys to remember when you have a sales funnel is not to have too many fonts everywhere because it can get very confusing to read, you know, for the eyes. So I would stick to two. So if you look at this font here, and um, this is Oswald, which is fine. This is a nice font. It's a nice heading font. That is, let's see what this font is. That is also Oswald, which is perfect. And then you have this one, which is also Oswald. And then I would maybe just use Oswald for this one as well. Because you can make it look different. Okay. You have to be in the blue to change your fonts. Okay. That's something also to remember. If you can't find the font, you just type in, you know, the first letters, there it goes. Okay, um, and that's basically it. So the nice trick about this is what you can do is you can then just go and you can clone that and you can drag it to this side. So you don't have to go and create that again all from scratch. And then you just type in the next thing. So here we want to then say, we want to replace this and we want to use maybe the picture for babies. Probably not the best, but my point is here guys, so you can go and play with these pictures and okay, this picture is not the best of quality, but you know, this is basically what you can do. And you can say here, look after your Special, we look after your little person's body by giving them the gift of nature. Because remember, Arbonne products, all natural, it's vegan approved, all of those beautiful things. I only use Arbonne for my baby. Um, I've got a two-year-old and I do not use anything else. I am very strict on that because the product is actually really phenomenal. Uh, and, that, and that's basically it. And then instead of saying, yes, double my order, because we don't really, we can't do it in this instance. You can, I guess, if you want to. But then when you direct them to Arbonne, to the uh, Facebook, oh, not Facebook, the website to go and check out, I can grab a double order, but it's not going to give them a special price. So that's just something to be careful for. So you have to play this according to where people are actually going to order from. And then we don't want to say yes, double our order. We want to say spoil um, gets spoiled this holiday. And then we can use that throughout the whole thing. So this one, uh, you can do the same there. So that's kind of the concept. And this doesn't look really great. So here we used 400. So here let's do the same. So the picture at least is the same size. Now you can see here if it's a little bit different. So what you do is over here, which this is great that it does that. So I can show you guys how this works. On the top margin, you can then go and you can push it down a little bit. 
okay or you can pull this one up a little bit but ideally you want this to be on the same length or the level so it doesn't look really strange and that's basically it guys and you just go and you pull this all out i would probably go and delete this this doesn't really work for me in this funnel specifically um and obviously like i said that logo doesn't really work for this um, this won't be relevant for what we're doing here and then you just go and you you know you build this whole thing there i would definitely put in the logo again um, i would go and read the wherever you're going to do this from you know if it's album or whatever clickbank or whatever make sure that you have a disclaimer policy here that you would add in there might be things to say you're not allowed to copy pictures or you're not allowed to use certain words or da, 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 da. but just you know put this in there and then people might say okay let's just not put that in for now also, there is uh, on Facebook, there's a group called the E-Commerce Roundtable, and it's a group that's run by Paul. Now, Paul is very good in doing exactly this. Um, he makes quite a lot of money doing this, and he teaches his students as well, and he's got students that are very successful. So I would definitely recommend, uh, you know, if this is what you guys want to do, um, I would definitely recommend that you go and, and join his Facebook group. Um, which is like I said, e-commerce roundtable on Facebook and Paul, and it's really you know the stuff that he does. And he's got a lot, a lot of free stuff in his group, which is really, really cool. Um, so you know you've got really no excuse not to to be successful in these things, guys. Um, and that's basically it. Okay, so you just keep doing this. So you, you focus on the products you want to focus on. So I've put the two green things together. We add another two columns. In here the other thing that you can do if you want to keep it the same you just say clone and then it's the same thing so what you then do is you just change the picture and in this one we want to say we want to make like a red picture and this one we want to make a red picture oops sorry not clone that's a silly move settings and well, actually, let's do these two red ones because I think they will look nice in this example. Uh, and then you can do two red ones next to each other. And then it's the same thing because at least these two pictures, they look, you know, they're close to the same. So you can see here, you know, your settings. Let's put them on 20, um, maybe 20, 15. Maybe I think it's probably 15. Cool. And then that is then, um, and you can say here, spoil yourself this holiday something along those lines like i said guys my hooks aren't very strong tonight i'm actually normally very good with hooks but brain death. um and then yeah so that's basically it but i just want to give you guys the concept of you know how you can do this and here is um, maybe let's say fill up those christmas stockings okay and i would probably not use red here um or like i mean black here what you can also do you can play with the background and maybe make the background a different color it depends on how you want your thing to look like if you want it to look clean if you want it to look a little bit different i mean we can use that see how it looks like um, looks a bit that's not actually too bad it doesn't quite tie in with the christmasy theme though um, and maybe the other thing that you can do is you can create a background image for you know on canva that is all christmasy and you can pull this that into here uh, let's let's go and search for library and we go and search say christmas it's probably going to spell so you can see yes all kinds of things so that doesn't look too bad so let's look at that keep it simple-ish uh, I just want to let you guys, you know, I want to show you that it is, it's easy to make your pages look pretty, you know. It doesn't need to be rocket science to make your pages look pretty. So we've added that one. And I've just, as that one was going in, I was looking at another one. And let's just go back to the search. And I just, I think this one will look nice as well because it's quite simple. And obviously, we don't get snow in New Zealand um, in in December. So you know, for us, it's all sunshine. So it's it's 
you know, and if you look at like countries like America, obviously that's snow. So I would, I would do this according to where you live, maybe, you know, um, but you see now you make it look all nice and Christmassy and you still have your disclaimer and this is moving up and down. So I think that looks pretty cool, you know, and, um, yeah, and like I said, you can play with the pictures, you can move things around, you can add stuff in. Like I said, my hooks on this is not very, very strong tonight, but you can see here on the um on the Arbon, you know, page, there's like different things that you can go and add and do. For example, with this, um, if you want to become an Arbon consultant, um, let me know. I can put you in touch with the right people that will actually guide you on this journey. Um, you know, that are actually successful because it, Ideally, if you want to start this journey, you want to join under somebody that will guide and teach you. And I know the right person for you guys if you want to do this. And, and that's basically it, guys. And that is it. I'm not going to get too sciencey with this. I just want to show you the concept. And then what happens is, oh yeah, the big important thing before I forget. So what happens is when you do this, you are going to set an action. And then the action that you're going to set is go to website. So for the purpose of this example, I'm just going to use that, which is obviously not the right link. But I just want to show you guys how this works. So when you go and you save this and you go preview and you click on this get spoiled today, it will take you through to the website you see. And because Arbonne, like I said, already has an integrated website, you probably just have to go and register for an account. So what I would do here is I would have a subtext in here that should then say something along the lines of um, register as a preferred client to get up to 40% discount, which is actually a thing, a real thing. Um, and if you're a consultant, I think you get up to 50% discount. So yes, yeah, so then people know they need to go and register, you know, if the, if you do not have a, a, an account. And I would actually maybe even go as far as to put it in brackets to say, um, register as a preferred client to get up to 40% or join or born as uh, in the in the consultant okay and that's basically it you know so you're giving people the option to actually join the program or you know maybe i won't put it all in there but you can put it on the bottom here and you can also mention something along the lines of you know if you want to become an independent consultant sell these products yourself or something like that and what other people do is that attach a block to this that will put a little video in which i would highly recommend if you know if you're not scared of the camera i would definitely put a little video in here because what the video will do is then is just confirm that little um you know what the products are all about and what uh, benefits the product have and why you recommend the products to the world and over here um i pushed the wrong buttons just there let's just delete this one and you row one column so you add an element and then you just add a video okay oh that's a massive video we don't want it that big so what you can do then is you see the video type is embedded you can say youtube or you can do whatever i prefer youtube because what i do is i link my videos from youtube so people can watch it on youtube and they can watch it on my funnel so it's basically double advertising and you can make it small so i would do a small little hard video like that um, you tell people about your product on the side here i would even go as far as adding in a margin uh sorry not a margin uh oh, what do you call it <laughs> i'm stumbling with my words today um see guys i also sometimes still struggle to to add things okay so there you go i had a moment so on the road there you can see right side so there you can go and you can add a, a row to the right hand side there okay i don't know why it doesn't want to do it now here but that's basically the concept you can do a video and underneath the video or next to the video you can say something along the lines of uh, you know join um 
joined this great opportunity and save heaps of money on presents or whatever. But this is basically the funnel. And then the beautiful thing about this is, is that you can run Facebook advertising to it. And this will give you a better chance of selling your products than actually selling them through the website. Because if you run advertising to a website like an Arbonne website, which is a great website, but it's very confusing. You're not actually going specifically to something. Then this is a great page because it tells people about the product. So as much as Arbonne is nice, it says, yeah, so I think the new set includes exfoliating food soap bar. Yes, it sounds fabulous, but if somebody has never heard of Arbonne before, you want to tell them more. You want to say to people, it's vegan approved. You know, it's soft on your skin. It's got all these great benefits. You know, da, 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 da. So you just carry on and you tell people all about this. And this is what you can do in the video. You can have a two minute video clip about how amazing Arbon is, how you would recommend Arbon to the world. And, um, and then, like I said, list your products. And that's it, guys. And, um, and in the next one, I will show you guys how to do an order page and a thank you page at the same time because because we're using this affiliation thing, you don't actually have an order page because the order page is linked to the website. But when you're then going to have a thank you page, so when people click on this, they're going to go to the thank you page and you're going to say thank you for doing this and the final and then this will then take you to the, the website. But I will, click, I will show you guys that in the next little video, which will be video three from the series of free videos on how to set up a funnel. Uh, I hope that was good, uh, like I said, and um, reach out to me if you guys have any problems. Talk soon. Bye.